I was uh, incredibly nervous to be here today and, and to come here. And actually, there are some people on my team who advised me against it. Well, Venice Film Festival attendees were very happy that Jessica Chastain did not follow that advice and did show up for the premiere of her new film, Memory. And yeah, with the ongoing SAG after strike, actors are required to not attend any red carpets for the films, any premieres for the films, and aren't even allowed to post anything about their work on social media because that's seen as promotion. But Jessica attending the Venice Film Festival today was not her crossing the picket line. I am here because SAG-AFTRA has been explicitly clear that the way to support the strike is to um, post on social media, um, walk the picket lines, and to work and support in interim agreement projects. It's what our national board, our negotiating committee, and our elected leadership has asked us to do. And Jessica was up to the task. As she stepped from that boat onto the Venice dock, her fashion choice made it clear that her comrades overseas were with her on this special assignment. I know you can't really see it that well, but she was wearing that t-shirt at the press conference as well this morning. And so I hope being here today encourages other independent producers and encourages actors to show up and um, support our union members. On July 18th, day four of the SAG after strike, Jessica was the one of the 13% that brought the stat to many people's attention that 87% of SAG after members make less than $26,000 a year and therefore don't qualify for health insurance. Actors deserve a fair compensation, uh, AI protections should be implemented, and there should be sharing of streamlining um, revenue. Since Friday was the eight week mark of the strike, it's caused a huge financial strain on not only actors, but those industries that are connected to actors. So like hair and makeup and wardrobe and even fabric stores and catering and drivers and security, I could keep going. And Jessica kept going in a powerful, succinct, educational, two-minute explanation as to why she was there. Hopefully, we'll see an end to this strike soon, and hopefully the AMPTP will go back to the table. <laughs> yeah, talk about memory. I mean, she had obviously thought about her answer to that inevitable question beforehand, but yeah, she nailed it. Such a pleasure yeah. to meet you. What's your name? Alberto. Alberto Piacere. But well, Miss Chastain was far from done. Like, sure, it was great that she wore that SAG after t-shirt for the arrival and the photo call and the press conference. Oh, I'll see you tonight on the red carpet. Okay. I'll see you tonight. I'll be there. But Jessica also had to show movie studios that they're missing out on red carpet moments like this right now. Bam! It could make you a billion when Jessica looks this good. Yeah, Jessica showed how red carpet fashion has the ability to commit a movie title to a viewer's memory as she wore a custom Gucci gown, gorgeous, with Bulgari jewelry, as you do. Stunning. As I mentioned earlier, it was stunning how much time Jessica spent with fans at the premiere. So here's a time breakdown for you. Starting at the moment when Jessica pulls up in the car and we get a first look at that Gucci creation, she spent the next six minutes at the extensive photo stop. Then she heads down to greet fans. Now, Venice Film Festival is not the fan-friendly festival that the Toronto one is. Like, I mean, this is the norm at the Toronto Festival. Like, yeah, all the stars spend several minutes and, yeah, signing autographs and posing for pictures in Toronto. But, yeah, Venice is a little more, I don't know, like, high class, I guess is the word. I don't know. They don't even do that this often in terms of going over to the fans at all. But, yeah, not only did Jessica make it happen in the Italian city tonight, she made it happen for over 11 minutes. I'm very, very lucky. I'm very aware how lucky I am. Um, it's a wonderful profession what we get to do as actors. And we are quite often because of that, made to feel like we have to be quiet in order to protect future working opportunities. And we are often told and reminded how grateful we should be. Uh, and then that is the environment that I think has um, allowed workplace abuse to go unchecked for many decades. And it's also the environment that has saddled members of my union with unfair contracts. Yeah, Jessica can sign autographs while posing for a photo and just keeps it moving to get to as many people as she can. The cast and crew memory are just kind of hanging out at a certain point, waiting for Jessica. So yeah, after about 11 and a half minutes, she's pulled saying, we gotta go inside. And I don't know exactly what she says, but she clearly says that, you know, I still have to walk down the rest of these barricades and at least acknowledge these people for coming out tonight. And she did just that. And by the way, I'm not talking this much because I love the sound of my own voice. The live stream of the red carpet 
has very little sound. Like, I mean, I've hiked up the volume of it all the way and it's still very, very faint. So yeah, I'm just feeling the silence. But this shot speaks for itself. Come on, now that is a movie star walking, posing, everything right there. So Jessica then reunited with the memory cast and crew and did some cast photos for the next six minutes. Then it's time to head into the theater. And as soon as she walks in the lobby and sees more fans, whoop, yeah, she just makes a beeline right to them and gets right back into her system of pose, sign, pose, sign, sign, pose, pose, sign. And she spent another four minutes in the lobby doing that. So if you add it up, Jessica getting out of the car and then just about to walk into the theater is 29 minutes. She spent 16 minutes of those 29 minutes signing autographs and posing for photos. That is like unprecedented. She is one of the great ones. And I love that this was the final moment that she had on the red carpet really inside the lobby at that point. A woman can't get her phone working, doesn't know how to take a picture with it. So Jessica takes it, gets the phone open, takes the picture for the woman. Awesome. See, Hollywood execs, Jessica has got us talking about a lot of stuff. And the movie is memory, by the way.